lot of uh, good actors, well-known actors like that in India. Adult movies are being uh, celebrated, and uh, uh, you know uh, their goddess and stuff. So, what you, what is your take on that statement? Um, Okay, sorry. So there's a mystery revolving around the character Leela. Uh, what what is it? I mean, if you could just elaborate a little, why uh, Apaheli, Leela Apaheli? This question will be better answered by our director and writer. Please repeat the question. <laughs> so Apaheli. Uh, so what's the puzzle around the character? Uh, I think we should leave it as Apaheli. <laughs> we expose it now, then no fun. I mean, we want to enjoy the movie. But it's nice so twists and turns in the film. Uh, as everybody knows, it's a film on reincarnation. So, the excitement of there's a lot of drama, uh, a lot of music happening in the film. And the Paheli is the uh, suspense angle we got in a reincarnation film. That's for the first time in the history of Indian cinema, we get, a, get to see a suspense. Now, I mean, there's never a suspense in a reincarnation. So that we leave it as a Paheli. Come watch Sunny unveil the Baheli in the end. So Sunny, if you're given a chance to uh, be a reincarnation, who star or who would you like to be? <laughs> well, the first time this question was asked to me uh, last week, I said Salman Khan. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, I don't know, as a fan, as like an outside viewer, um, I just think, oh wow, his life must be so amazing. He does all this charity work. He does all these uh, work with all these cool people and children and all this stuff. So I said something like that. And also, nobody messes with him at all. <laughs> <laughs> so to have that power of, you know, don't mess with me type <laughs> would be awesome. Sunny, how difficult or easy was it to get into the skin of the character of um, Sunny Um, To become Leela, I have to say that uh, not easy. Um, it was a challenge. I had to really work on you know, the Rajasthan language. I, the look, that first look poster that everybody seen, that took six hours to create. Of tucking, pulling, tucking, pinning, pulling, painting, <laughs> doing all these different uh, things that day. But at the end of the day, the result was absolutely amazing for the first look of Leela. And, um, also, every day I had to wake up three hours, two hours before, and everybody else is sleeping. And I had to start the process of becoming Lila, uh, which was, you know, a task in itself. Um, but after looking like her, becoming her physically, I had to, uh, you know, mentally and everything else become Lila. And, uh, I had a lot of help on set. We did a lot of workshops on on set itself. Um, on, how the character is and how well we work the character. You know, so, so many different things we worked on this Madana Lila that I think that took like 10 to 15 takes a day. Um, because my body language is of somebody of a modern girl, a modern woman in today's time, not somebody 300 years ago. So um, it took a little bit of time and Emmett would come up to me, no, Sunny, Lila's like this, no, Sunny, Lila's hands are like this, no, Sunny, Lila talks like this. So um, it, was, it was always a process of uh, you know, them working with so me, having a lot of patience. Did you have any chance to meet the other funny uh, women and learn from them? Or did you have any chance to learn the Rajasthani folk dance also? Um, well, all dancing in the movies choreographed by Yavik Khan. Um, and then as far as meeting uh, people from the local villages, we actually didn't get a chance. We were on such a strict, crazy schedule. Um, if you could think that if our schedule started at 8, I would have to wake up at 4 a.m to start becoming Leela. So by 8, 9 o'clock at night when I would get back to my room, all I wanted to do was eat and sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so we didn't get a, a lot of chance to meet a lot of the people there. Um, but as you like drive through the villages and as you drive through certain areas, seeing people the way that they've always dressed for so many years is actually really fascinating for somebody like me coming from the U.S. I'm sure it's fascinating for people that live in India. Um, if a 
from different states and then they see this, but to actually see people in their traditional clothing, attire, and they, you know, like certain things, in, I don't know what it's called, either tattoos or uh, different things on their face and everything, it was really What was your first reaction when you were offered the room? Um, well, it wasn't that it came to me one day and it was just there. Um, myself, Bobby, and my husband, we were friends and we would talk about Leela. And then one day I got a narration of Leela. Then the next day I got a script of Leela. So then it was a process of something that we were talking about for so long. And I loved, I loved the characters. I really wanted to take the challenge of becoming Leela because everybody see me and, you know, uh, short dresses and skirts and very Western looks and very Western uh, characters. So this is something that I wanted to do. It wasn't just because the movie was really interesting and the story was, I wanted to do it for myself to see if I could do it, to see if I could take this challenge and become this character that they wanted. So which Leela do you most resemble? Like, There's to? only one Leela. <laughs> the there movie. is a modern and a Indian. Uh, There's Leela. Okay, who's a model? Who's a model? And then there's Leela, who's from the past. So, so who do you re relate to the most? Well, I don't, I mean, really relate to any of the characters in that way. Um, because as you know, these stories are fictional, they're not real. The characters are created by the writer, his imagination, his thought of what uh, the story should be and what the character should be like. So, um, there's not much of a relatability to Leela at all, except for that she has a bit nice attitude and uh, she doesn't really care what people think. Um, so Leela comes out to be an angry person on screen. How is Sunny in real life? Leela's not an angry person. She just doesn't. It's just that type of girl. She's a village girl that just doesn't care about what people think. And she didn't grow up like sitting proper, like you know, like a princess. She grew up in the village, and she's on the floor, and she's you know playing with mud, and I don't know what else she does throughout the day. But she doesn't. She's not this prim and proper character. She's a village girl. And if you know anybody that's from a small village that's never exited that area ever in their entire life. They're so different from you and me. They don't have those sort of manners or etiquette that we grew up with in this modern world. Uh, so You've metamorphosed me. into a beautiful Bollywood uh, actress now. Uh, what do you enjoy the most doing? I mean, dancing, acting, everything put together, or is there a certain genre that you're really enjoying being and being a being a Bollywood actress now? Um, I wouldn't say there was a certain thing that I enjoy the most. I enjoy the idea that I get to do it. Like I wake up in the morning and I go, oh, I'm in India. <laughs> like, <laughs> out of all the places in the entire world, I'm sitting there going, I'm in Mumbai, I'm waking up, I'm going to set, I'm getting to live my dream, which is to act in movies. Whether I'm good or I'm not good, whether people love me or hate me, I get to do what I've always wanted to do. So. That's the part that I love the most. And yes, there are challenges. Yes, there are things that go wrong. Um, I make bad decisions. I make wrong choices. Um, and things happen on set. But the, but at the end of the day, when I'm watching Leela for the first time, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is a, this is a crazy thing that I've ever done in my life, and I've gotten the opportunity to do it. So that's what. Sunny, uh, you just said you're in India. So uh, there are two sides of your popularity in India. So on one hand, you're the most searched celebrity on Google. And on the other hand, uh, we read Bobby's statement that uh, many big actors have refused to work with you in a movie. So how do you take that? I mean, w what do you think works for you and works against you? Um, well, what I do know, regardless of what any critic says, what, regardless of what anybody says in life, those numbers of being the most searched celebrity in India, those don't lie. So no matter what anybody says in life, no matter how much people might want to tear you down or don't want to work with you or say that you're the worst actress, you're the worst this or, you know, whatever it is. Because I there are so many articles that come out every single day that I wonder where this person's imagination was when they were coming up with this nonsense. And it's my fans that keep me here. There's nobody else in this entire world that keeps me in Bollywood more than my 
than my fans because those numbers are the truth. I just did like this analytics, <laughs> you guys can do it too, mm -hmm. uh, where you can compare people's search engines and all these yeah. things. My husband and I did this one night, it was, it was fun.